Hi, my name is Zoe. I'm the Gypsy Psychic, and today we are going to do the psychic tag. So I did the astrology tag not too long ago, and now we're gonna do the psychic tag. So the astrology tag obviously was more about astrology. This is gonna be about being a psychic. I got some of these questions from other channels, and some of them were asked of me and some of them I just kind of came up with on the spot because I thought they would be relevant. So I hope you enjoy this video. I wrote the questions down. How did you become a psychic? I don't think I ever became a psychic. I think I've always been a psychic. It's not something that I just discovered later on in life. It's something that I've always been. I have had psychic experiences since I was a baby. I've been reading palms since elementary school. I remember reading other kids' palms on the playground. Like, that's how far back it goes. And it's just something that came naturally to me. So it's not something that I ever just learned, you know, like last year. It's something that has always been a part of me. I remember setting up a little fortune telling booth in my courtyard when I was growing up and I would just like read all the family members and the neighbors, I just remember it being a huge part of who I am and I think my parents saw that too and you know they're not psychic, like they're not like into this stuff but they realized that it was something that I was really really into and they supported me in it and they would get me tarot decks and cool books on witchcraft and on divination and other things just for me as gifts for Christmas and they were just really into it too like they were really supportive even if they didn't really understand it like I don't think anyone was surprised at all when I decided to do it professionally I remember being like hey mom dad like I'm gonna be a psychic that's what I want to do I want to have my own business and they were like not surprised okay what kind of psychic are you Thank you for asking. I don't really like the term psychic. I feel like it's super broad and I feel like there are a lot of different types of psychics. I think that it is a label that we put on a lot of the time for business purposes because when you say I'm a psychic, then it's like, it explains it. It's ex it explains your career in a way, um, but it's a very broad term. I'm definitely an empath, so I have a strong ability to feel what other people are feeling and through feeling I receive my psychic information. Um, and we all receive it in different ways. Um, I think I, I have a lot of like, I have clairvoyance, like I, I see things too, I hear things, clairaudience. Um, I definitely, definitely am very in tune with emotions in the emotional realm and it goes beyond that. I feel at times that I can project how I'm feeling on other people and it plays a huge part in my readings because I'm able to calm down a, a certain person or I can heal people with my emotions. It's difficult to explain, um, but it also makes me very sensitive to the world around me and people. And a lot of people who are empathic understand that. I think I just use it a lot in my readings and I use it to gather psychic information and we all do it in different ways. Yeah, I think I said that. It's hard to put a label on it because it's just how I go about things. When I'm reading someone's palm, I automatically just like know. And it's not even a knowing, it's more of a feeling, but somehow it translates into something. Like it translates into an understanding. It's really difficult to explain. But in my readings, I use the words, I feel this a lot. I don't say I see this about you. I don't say I hear this about you, um, or this is what my spirit guides are telling me. I say I feel. Actually, there is a YouTuber I really like. Her name is Stargirl the Practical Witch and I really like her YouTube channel. And on it, she does have a few videos on psychic um, abilities and like what types of abilities there are. And I've actually, I've thought about doing videos on this, but I think you should just check hers out. Um, and I'll definitely post the links to those below so you can see whether you're clairaudient or clairvoyant, you know, whatever. Yeah, I don't really think I need to make a brand new video about all that if I can just refer you to her channel because her content is so fucking awesome. 
So I'm always there to promote other people who I think are doing a really good job in this industry. So yes. Has a psychic client ever asked you out? Or have you dated a client? Yes to asking me out. Like I've definitely been asked out by clients. Have I gone out with them? No. Um, have I read some of my exes or my you know past partners for fun? Absolutely, but I never cross the boundary between making a client. You know, I feel like that's sort of unethical. People usually come to see psychics when they're at a time when they're vulnerable or when they need help. And I find that um, if I if a client's asking me out, it's usually because they are around someone who really understands them and gets them. And when someone fully understands someone, it's it's attractive. It's like oh, you get me, go out with me, like, let's, you're my soulmate because you understand me so well. And I think, like, you know, I, I don't think I've ever been attracted to a client. I, I just have no desire to mix pleasure with business because I feel like if I feel like someone is inappropriate with me, I put my foot down and I'll never see them again because I feel like it just crosses a boundary. Okay, what is your favorite type of divination? The three main types of divination I use are tarot, so like tarot decks, tarot readings, palmistry, so palm readings, and tea leaf reading. So tea leaf reading is my favorite. What is your most rewarding moment as a psychic? Helping people. What is your zodiac sign? I get asked this a lot, despite saying it a lot on my channel, so I'm just gonna say it now. Um, I am a Teremini, a Taurus Gemini cusp. That's my sun sign. So I am also a Sagittarius rising, and my moon sign is Taurus. So it's like a double Taurus there. Um, yeah, so that was cool. What is your favorite tarot deck? My favorite tarot deck is the Shadowscape deck so far. I have a lot of favorites. I do like the Sexual Tarot deck, I forget what it's called, um, but that one's really, really good. Like, I love using it. Is it hereditary? My answer is I think so. I made a video about this, about discovering whether it's hereditary or not. Um, and I recently found out I was donor conceived, so I found out that my donor is really into tarot and she had her tarot cards, so that was something that was really cool. And so I guess it can be hereditary, um, I'm not really sure. What is my ideal reading? My ideal reading is usually a one-on-one -on -one reading. I love events and I love doing all that stuff, but I prefer really sitting there with someone and connecting with someone on a like deeper level. Subscribe to my channel and comment if you have any more questions or what you thought or if you are a psychic too. I'd love to hear from you. Bye-bye.